Hi guys, today is Wednesday, October 27th, and we're going to be going on a little road trip of sorts down to Arkansas. It's my parents' home health care workers' day off, so I thought I'd go down there and maybe keep them entertained for a little bit. And if I can get them to agree with this, maybe teach them a balloon animal, show them a little bit about what goes into making these videos. Spoiler alert, if you're watching this, it means I did get them to agree. But at this very moment, at the time of filming, no idea if it's going to happen or not. And since I have about an hour, hour and a half drive ahead of me, let's get going. Onward! So first things first, I stopped off at the gas station, got a little bit of gas, a slice of cheese pizza, and it started raining a little bit. Seems to have quit now, but it might be an interesting drive down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and scarf this pizza down and then let's get started. I'm gonna film along the way just in case there's any pretty fall leaves or anything. You never know. my school bus stop as a kid back in the day. It looked quite a bit different back then. The road was still dirt up to this point. Good old dog patch Arkansas, last leg of the journey. When I was a teenager, I would drive this road so quickly, like 20, 25 miles an hour at least. Right now, I am going seven and my hands are clutch to the wheel. I don't know if you can tell how bad it is on film or not, but man, you guys, this is rocky. And here we are. This is their driveway. I hope they're home. Oh crap, I don't think they are. So, change of plans. I found out that my parents are in town having breakfast, and so I have a little bit of time on my hands. So, I'm just gonna show you guys around for a little bit, and then head on back into town and meet them there. And their friend Sam's gonna be there, so maybe I can get him to join in on the balloon contest, and um, just... See how it goes teaching balloon animals to woodcarvers. So this is the playhouse up on stilts. And there's Patches, their dog. Hey Patches, what you doing? Kind of a pretty tree. The leaves are just now starting to turn color. We don't really get that many fall leaves here, and it's not all at once, so people that come to the area hoping to see fall stuff are often disappointed. Oh, I just saw a four-leaf clover down there. Cool. Up there, I don't know if you can see it or not, because it's in that big mess of trees, is my old tree house. It's kind of in that middle clump of trees and my friend Jamie fell through what I called the basement which was about five feet off the ground at one point during our childhood. Over there in that other little clump of trees I actually cannot see it at all right now is the outhouse that dad built. Oh whoa the treehouse isn't even there anymore. So this is where the treehouse used to stand. It went all the way up there, all the way out. There were several rooms. Right about here is where that basement was. There's something walking around in the trees. And the dog's over here, so I don't know what that was. Okay, yeah, so this is all that remains of my old treehouse. Wow. And 
here's the outhouse. Oh, it's open. Let's see. So the roof there's kind of clear. That's their skylight. Right now it's covered in muck. They used to use that whenever Dad would host blacksmith meetings out here. Because Mom didn't want all those dirty old guys wandering around her house. This big clump of trees is where my swing set used to sit as a kid. Not there anymore. And here's the blacksmithing addition that Dad built after he retired from wood carving. There's the front of their wood carving shop. All grown over with vines by now. This is the original house that was on the place. They call it the old house, which is appropriate since it is, in fact, an old house. Not even gonna try to get inside there, but I will walk over to the chimney See if I can find, oh, here we go. It was built in the early 1900s. It says 1904 and 1901. So maybe it just took that long to finish. I don't know. For some reason, I was thinking that was a little bit older than that, but I guess not. This little corner here, you can see where the wood is a little bit different. That is an addition that Dad built in the woods over there. Now you can't see it right now this time of year, but if it were winter and you look straight out that way, it's a pretty cool view of a big mountain. And it's starting to rain a little bit harder now. So I'm walking quicker for this last part. That's the old shed that was originally on the property. So coming back on the front part of the house. And right over here at the corner. That was my bedroom growing up. There's patches again. Hey, patches, you want to be in a YouTube video? <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. Here we go again, back into town, and I will be back in with you then. over Major's Cave. I got to go exploring in there once when I was 14 and right about here for years after that I would say we're over Major's Cave. Annoyed my parents to death with that. I'm taking us the back way along the square because there's a pretty cool mural right here. There's another one on the left on that building. USA. Up on the left, in the middle of this little block, is the historic Lyric Theater. Performed there many a time, both pre- and post-renovation. And we are coming up on our destination. That building right in front of us, to the right of the stoplight, is where we're going. The upstairs there. <laughs> Okay, so the most awesome. important thing, what color? What, what color dog what, do we want? Yeah, what, what color do you want? White. He wants, he wants a bay, because look, he's got a dark shirt, so he's going to have to have something that's got really light <laughs> in it, doesn't he? Do you see how fast that girl works? Okay. Okay, so here's Dad. What about 
about you. Okay, so um, if I have a brown shirt, what color is going to show out on me? A, a yellow or a, or orange or something like something like that? That would definitely show yeah, up. Yeah, that would definitely show up. No. Harold, I think you and I need to change places. You need to be here and I need to be there. What about you? There. You need to be there by your daughter. So what color should I use? Oh, let's see. You like blue, don't you? Yeah, I was going to say or that or that or that. Same as your car. Uh, yeah, that Let's do blue, though. I believe your mom likes blue really well. You want to try it? I don't know. I haven't done that since I was a baby. Just have to hold it in your hand. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like a hot dog, doesn't it? A little bit. This is laughing. There you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> First, you gotta squeeze a little bit. Okay. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Just up here at the bottom, and what that does is it makes sure the air kind of keeps on this is face to the front and what you'll do is just a little over an inch here maybe two inches you'll just make the first twist, twist. do you do you twist it more than once you can do it a couple of times okay just about this part out so make a oh i made a little one but that's good that'll work there okay you make, make yours elaine make make a little bulb on the end of it down there the other end this end. This end. Just twist it a little bit. Twist it a little bit. Just hold it the like bump it, squeeze it right like there. Right now, but kind of pinch it a little bit and just twist it on around like you were closing a bag of bread. I think you're more than me. It's not going to get you in too much trouble, Elaine. <laughs> it's okay if you pop it. Look at there. Look at there, you're afraid it's going to pop it, and it's not going to pop it at all. Oh. <laughs> Look at there. Good job. All right, so next, next you'll want to keep a hold of this first one so that it doesn't untwist on okay. you. And make another one about the same size or a little different? About the same size, what you do is you just kind of hold it steady and then you can twist the other end here. Okay, so we got... <laughs> you let it loose. Now you got to start again. <laughs> okay, and you'll do the same thing one more time. A third time? Keep holding on to this one and twist it. This one and this one and do another one. So now I have so we got three bubbles about the same length. One of my Okay, let me hold shorter. yours and let you and you catch your mom up. <laughs> what do you got so far? Alright. Now you're doing it left hand. Oh, you're making an elephant. Oh. <laughs> hold that one just like it is and put this hand here. <laughs> Well, let's just go ahead and do the next part on that one, and that way it'll stay. What you'll do is take okay. these two bubbles and twist Put. them together. Okay. So you'll hold on to the longer one and the, to yeah. both ends. Okay. Now, now you don't have to hold on to all three. There Look we there. go. Made ears. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? There was so, two on. Okay, so I've got to make a third one. You've got three. I've got three. And then you take them and bend them into a little candy cane. Mm -hmm. Like this. Twist mm -hmm. these two together. Yeah, yeah. A couple of times. Oh, look there. Hey, you've already got the next step. She is ahead of us. Yeah, that's okay. So that is a perfect size neck right there. Now make a neck. Don't hold this one down, just make another yeah, one. Yeah, you can let go of that one now. Okay. And then, and see I keep squeezing as I go down and yeah, just, that gives the balloon a little bit of softness to it. And we'll do that and 
again and again. So you'll have the okay, neck got three of them. and both the legs. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. One, two, and three. You can't hold it with your mouth, can you? <laughs> you could. Okay, so I've got three of them. Okay. Carol, do you, you have three of them too? One, two, three. Yeah, you. Yeah. Okay, so One, two, three, four, five, six. Let One go more. that part. That piece. There we go. And then you'll need one more bubble there. This is more fun. This is more fun than, than watching the Grinch, isn't it? <laughs> oh, don't you do that. So once you got those, those three, three done, with the last two there, you're going to do the same thing you did with his ears there. Okay. And so just twist to those two together. Go back the other way. Look at there. Hey, you got it. Look at there. <laughs> and you've got a rhinoceros. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad is so creative. <laughs> okay, so, so then you got, then the, you got body, the body, a little longer than the legs. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I think I know what we're doing now, maybe a little bit. Yeah, you know that next step already? I'm trying it. <laughs> I'm gonna make it have just a little tiny tail. This one <laughs> Okay. So, look at here, look at here. Look at there, look at, oh! Look at there! Oh, okay. And mine has a really long tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you not supposed to blow the tail up, are you? Well, you can do the tail any number of oh, ways. Yeah, I may do it like this. Oh, there you go. Squeeze the air out and make him into a Ooh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's jumping on you. <laughs> So, I think, Sam, you won. <laughs> Here's the results of our balloon contest. This is Sam's. <laughs> Actually made a pretty decent balloon dog there. Oh, wow. <laughs> and... Okay, what what is that now? Well, it was a rhinoceros. Now, maybe a duck. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Or... Let's, let's see, see what we could do with this. Some sort of monster since it's Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> and mine with his funky it's long tail. And I think you came in second. Yours kind of matches your jacket. Okay. We did. <laughs> and my shoes. Well, that was fun. <laughs> it was. My first doggy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for participating in this. <laughs> it was our it was our pleasure entirely. And that's that. You'll have to let me know in the comments who's that you think was the best. Mine not included, of course. Just one more stop, and then we'll be done. This is it. Impossible whopper time. Yay! Well guys, I think the day was mostly a success despite the rain. Made it back in one piece. I have impossible whoppers for later. As far as the contest goes, Dad and Sam are both amazing woodcarvers, so it was fun to do something a little bit different with them. And Mom, I did not think was even going to want to do one at all, so I'm glad she did. I did have to help out with a little bit at the end, but we still made one and it worked. Sam was great. He and I actually did one more after we finished filming, so he got to learn another technique. And Dad just kind of did his own thing there, didn't he? But you know what? That's okay. He was getting back at me because that is exactly what I used to do as a kid. Every single time he would try to teach me anything about wood carving, I'd take the block of wood and the tool and just do my own thing, no matter what he was trying to say. So... That is more than okay. <laughs>
and I'd like to thank all three of them again for helping me out with that. Thank you guys, love you, and everyone else, thank you for watching. I don't know what's coming up next, but stay tuned, we'll see. Bye!